so guys good morning happy saturday i hope you guys have a beautiful day so today me and my daughter is going on a date but of course you know we can't go with the hair style yeah so we pulled up at the hairdresser we just pulled up and we're about to get busted down and slayed so come with us don't forget to like comment share and subscribe make a friend tell a friend and if you're new welcome to the dinner family All right, babes, let's. So guys, my hair is finito and I'm going to fix up my eyebrow or whatever, whatever. And then I'm going to head out to my dinner date with my baby. Yeah. Hey guys, my hair is finally finished by the one and only Lacey. Make sure you follow her on Instagram. I will be putting her information right here. So yeah, our hair is finished. We look like a dolly now. And we're going on a date with me and baby blessing. We're currently, seafood is our thing. So we're gonna go to Juicy Crabs and yeah, I'll take you guys with me. And my man, thank you to my man. Ah! Thank you, husband. Yeah, I don't know, I'm already diving. My patty, my cane, I'm already started eating. And my consecrated olive oil for my belly, period. Huh? Did somebody say I have the best husband? Oh. I didn't stutter. That's what I said. Period. Thank you, babe. Hey, guys. Good morning. This is the next day of me getting my hair done and slayed, as you guys could see in that video. Um, Lord God. Me just do my, my, my baby heartbeat songs. I have a machine thing where I put it on my belly. I can hear the song of her heartbeat. Guys, listen. I am, when I tell us I'm going to change, I'm gonna ch oh, and before I get into this um, chatting video with you guys, because I'm going to talk to you a little bit. As you guys could see, I never bought a juicy crabs because my husband sent up 
half of food. And then your uncle came on the day when we decided to go, go eat. You know, your girl is an adult now. I'm a mother. I have responsibility, so I cannot. If anyone can save a local dollar, I'm going to save it. So when he called me, when we just done to my ear, and he told me that he's on his way, my mom sent him my address. I'm like, okay, if me have party KFC and all them goodies, me no need for buying a seafood because I don't have any craving like that to say, oh, I'm craving seafood, so I have to get seafood. No, I am grateful that this pregnancy is just smooth. My baby no crave nothing but cook food. Just cook food. This girl just love cooks food. Cook food, cook food, cook food, cook food, strictly cook food. Went to the doctor the other day, baby girl measure out way more than she's supposed to. The doctor asked me what I eat. Someone must eat, not eat certain hours. I said, huh? Hear me my mind now. Eh, anything my baby want. If she feel hungry, kitchen, we're gone. Yes, it can be frustrating sometimes because I'm here alone. I feel I get up. And I cook. And that shit. Just can't wait for your father. Can't give him a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because if you go in the kitchen with that baby, and she's getting so big. But this is my little bundle of joy. Hey. Is she your baby mama? Go ahead. Do that thing. It don't make work. Show that food. It don't make. Go ahead. Show that thing. It don't make. Chop it down. Chop it down. Look. Look at me. Pregnant and all. Who would have thought that I would be pregnant with my bundle of joy? Huh? This is my bundle of joy. This is my peace. Hey. You know what's crazy? Is when... You think something could have happened. I said, no, sir, look at me shooting at church. Uh, what's about me? I'm not kidding. I'm not doing nobody, nothing. None at all. And then God just said, Budu do, back, 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 back for himself. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. If you have an idiot, you don't want to answer me. You're vexed. Me do you something? I feel like idiot. Anyways, I just want to tell everybody thank you. Because my God is, my name is Vice, my Vice Rusty. Awesome. 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 My God. Yeah. So. But I just want to tell everybody where I got you, PCOS, for just be strong, wall fit, not make nobody take away your joy. We are, a lot, lot of us are going through so many things right now, financially, mentally, depression, everything that you can think of. But you see, you have to learn how to trust God and stop just human being because this human being out here is literally waiting for to see you don't fall. <clears throat> Them I wait for see a downfall, that's one. Them can't wait for laugh after you, that's two. Say, so I see God, that's all I can say. I had to learn the hard way. People do me so much things for me. Say, you know what? Enough is enough with human being. So right now, my circle is like in my hand right now. And it's okay, and it's the best I've ever been. If you have to cut off some people for your peace, do that. But do what you have to do and do what pleases you because we're living in a world right now where once they didn't grow with any farmer love during their childhood days growing up, then paint this picture so you're not supposed to be happy. You're not supposed to be happy, but in the name of Jesus, Rochelle and baby blessing shall be one happy family in the name of Jesus. Because I don't know how people get up every day and have a problem with somebody being happy over a pregnancy. You understand me? And this is something that I have to deal with off camera and on camera. People are literally coming at me because I'm currently pregnant, happy, dancing, going out, taking pictures, posting content, doing what I love to do even before I'm pregnant. But that just show you that they're not happy. 
So you're not know, to make nobody stop your joy. Do what makes you happy. You're beautiful. You're wonderfully made. You're here for a reason. You're here for a purpose. And nobody cannot be like you. Nobody cannot be like Rochelle. And nobody cannot be like you. Always remember, you is you. You, you is you. You see somebody out there saying, I said, no man. I can't wait to be like the person that, no, check it out. Stop the radio business. Stop the radio business. Stop the radio business. Because what's for that person is for that person. And you don't know how long that person take to get what they want. Matter of fact, you don't know what that person have done to get what they want. It can't come two ways. Is it their time to get their blessing and God bless them? Are them the holy of things to get it? So be patient with yourself. I'm the type of person where me just want to get things done. But as I say, being pregnant now, me just learn how to be patient with myself and take step. One step at a time. It's no need to rush. It's like learning to fly or falling in love. You get me? Oh, my, my lash tech just texts me. So, yeah. Um, Thanksgiving is around the corner. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I'm going to check on baby blessing and I can't hear what I'm saying. Like, you know me. I'm always jumping on those planes, you know. So, don't be surprised if you see me and baby blessing on a plane. <sighs> Mind your goddamn business. I'm a family person. And even though I live by myself, hooray! <laughs> Best feeling ever. You see, when you've been in a situation and you have, it's just toxic and crazy, and God just bless you, and you have your own place, baby! <laughs> You're taking it. You're doing big things. And... Um, and sometimes I can't believe I'm like, am I really pregnant? Living in a whole house by myself, paying rent, this and that. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's the type of girl can worry about every little thing. But I just always I say, all right, God, why am I worrying about this? Hold the pressure. Buck up. The God that you serve, I'm going to carry you this far. I'm make, I'm going to make sure I say, all right. And I just want to give a big shout out for, to my husband who always a wallet down for me. My husband is the type of person. I can't even go to my husband sometime and say, babe, may I worry about this? Because the first thing I'm going to say, Rochelle, don't you see how far you have come? And he just motivate me with some things. He said, Rochelle, if you're a 25 year old girl, you're doing great. So hands down to you, Mr. Daniel Walters. Although sometimes I want to thump you in your face and thump you in your back. But that's my babe. And I love my husband so much. We're not perfect. No relationship, not perfect. But we were meant for each other. So I pray to God that's in continent of cover us under his blood. Sending God an angel over. We are intervening in our marriage. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video here. See you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're new, welcome to the DNR family. I'm nice. And you're going to see more vlog of me and baby blessing. Me, baby blessing, and blessings dad. That's Denier. Period. Love you guys. And thank you guys for the continuous support. Mwah.